Good day grade elements. Welcome to this next lesson in the Universal Law of Gravitation by Mr. Newton. In this lesson we're going to look at actually using Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation to solve some problems. So let's get started straight away. It says the distance between the midpoints of two metal balls, P and Q respectively, of masses 55 and 70 kgs is 80 centimeters apart. Calculate the gravitational force that P exerts on Q. Okay, so let's first of all, let's just get an idea of what we're doing and we're going to draw this. So we've got a little ball here, P, and we've got a little ball here, Q, okay, and this has got a mass of 55 kgs. And this has got a mass of 70 kgs, and the distance between their centers is 80 centimeters, 80 centimeters. Now, immediately you should realize that there's a problem with this because this is not in SI units, and we need to change it to meters. So they're 100 centimeters in a meter, so therefore this is just going to be 0,8 meters. Now the formula that we're going to use, because this is Newton's law of universal gravitation, is F is equal to big G, M1, M2 over R squared. And G, we're going to use a 6.7 times by 10 to the minus 11. And remember, both of these you're going to find on your formula sheet. So this is actually quite an easy problem, but I just wanted to get you to have practice using it and also to make you realize that you need to look out for things like this because they love doing that. So we can say that F is equal to big G, which is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11 times by the mass 1, doesn't matter which one you use, I'm just going to left to right, it's 55, times by mass 2, which is 70, all over r squared, in this case it's 0, 0,8 all squared. Now grade 11s, please don't forget this little square, so many of my students do it and it's just tragic. Right, so let's get out our calculator, cheering away. Right, so now let's see what we've got. We've got 6 point seven exponent negative eleven times fifty five times seventy equals divided by point eight all squared and we get four point zero three times by ten to the negative seven four point zero three four point zero three times by ten to the negative seven and that would be Newton's. Now it says, if Q is replaced by a ball with a mass of 35 kgs, so we're changing this mass to 35 kgs, okay? So what are we doing? We're halving the mass. And the distance between the two balls increased to 160 centimeters. So instead of 80 centimeters, we've now got 160 centimeters, which is 1,6 meters. And it says determine the factor by which the magnitude of the force between them changes. And they say without calculating the gravitational force between them. Okay, so in other words, we know that F, the original F, was G, M1, M2 over R squared, okay? And I'm going to change that to being G, mass of P, mass of Q over R squared. And we know that that is 4.03 times 10 to the minus 7 because we've just worked it out for the original. Now we've replaced Q with a ball that is half its mass. So the new one, the new F new, F new, is going to be big G, mass of P stays the same, but the mass of Q is now half the mass of the original Q, right? It's half of it. And the distance is twice as big. Instead of it being 80 centimeters, it's now 160 centimeters, so it's twice as big. So therefore we're going to have 2R all squared. You must remember that it's a distance. If we double it, it's all squared, right? So do you agree that that is the same as, I could put the numbers in the front, so it's going to be a half G mass of P mass of Q over, and 2 squared is 4, R squared. Now this, this bit there, 
is all the same as the original one, okay, which is that 4 times by 10 to minus 4.03 times 10 to minus 7. So now we just have to work out this maths here. And that is equal to half divided by 4. But what do you do when you divide? You tip in times. So it's going to be a half times by 1 over 4, which is an eighth. And it said, what is the term and the factor by which the magnitude of the force between them changes? So the new force is a factor of an eighth. It is an eighth smaller than the original force. Right, the grade 11s. And that is the type of questions that you will most likely get in your tests and exams. So please make sure you understand what is going on. Make sure you know how to do the maths and the ratios. Have a great day.